guys, it has been so long. I've missed you so much. Believe it or not, I have actually not filmed since the end of November, which is kind of crazy for me. All of December definitely took a turn. I had a lot of personal stuff going on, which I will be sharing in this video just to give you guys a little bit of an update on my life. But we are here now. It is officially 2024. I can't believe it. It's kind of crazy. And I'm excited to share today's haul, which is actually going to be two hauls in one. We're gonna do a little battle of the boxes, one being a high-end haul where I believe I paid up to $25 per piece. And then, of course, an affordable haul where I paid, I think, around $4.45. We'll get into the logistics as I go over each box with you. But we have over a 40-piece haul to open up today. So needless to say, we, we need to get started with this thing. Like I said, December was kind of crazy for me. And thank goodness I pre-filmed some videos in November. So I was able to put them up in the month of December for you. But let's just say the beginning of December started out with Tristan getting COVID and then me getting COVID and actually this is the first time each of us have ever gotten COVID. We uh, tried to surpass it for the past three years. It finally caught on to us and it was kind of crazy. Migraines, body aches, fever, you name it, I got it and I'm just happy that I am officially feeling myself again and we both were able to feel better by the time Christmas hit so we still were able to celebrate it with our families which was really nice. Let me know if any of you guys had COVID too or you had the flu because I know that's going around too. I'm just happy I feel better. <laughs> no one likes being sick. Aside from being bored in bed and of course sourcing online, I also haven't had a car for three weeks now because my car has been in the body shop. I actually did get into a accident in August. I didn't really talk about it on my channel. Actually, I don't think I brought it up at all, but finally the case settled in my favor and the insurance company is now paying for all of my repairs on my car and it's been getting fixed in the shop for the past three weeks. So I have been stranded in my house, which is why online shopping is honestly the best option for me. Anyways, of course, there were so many good things that happened this December, but figured I'd give you the major life updates. Let me know how your holiday season was, whether you had some sprinkles of unexpected news or you had a really great holiday season. I just hope everyone is excited for 2024. And speaking about 2024, Vendu is partnering with me in today's video so I can share with you their new campaign to celebrate the new year. Year. It's called Sell More 24, which of course we all love. We of course want to all thrive in our businesses in the year of 2024. And I'm so excited to of course be continuously using all of their core features within the new year to help me gain more sales, more visibility on my items, and just keep my business organized. In the spirit of Vendu's Sell More 24 campaign, I figured I would share four key features that I use on Vendu that really do help me make more sales within my business. So I'll share one right now and then I'll share a few as we go on with the video. But my first one is definitely cross-listing. If you have never considered cross-listing onto multiple platforms, that I promise is going to be your first step to expanding your business and making more sales. They support so many different platforms on their software, so you're able to easily cross-list to multiple platforms by using their autofill features and their drop-downs. It just makes everything so seamless to have it all in one portal. And if you are thinking about using Vendu and you are finally ready to expand and organize your business, Vendu is offering the biggest discount I think I've ever promoted on my channel. They are going to give you 40% off your first month subscription by using the code MORE24AM and of course using my referral link linked down below. So with that said, thank you so much to Vendu for partnering with us in this video and now let's get to this major haul. I'm already foreshadowing the mess that I'm going to be creating in this room. Let's get to it. I'm afraid this is going to fall, but I don't know if you can see the other box on the side of the bed. So we'll leave this here for about 30 seconds. But like I said, I am gonna do a little battle of the boxes. The first box, I think this box is from Bazaar. If you guys don't know, I have unboxed many different hauls from Bazaar. And if you are interested in more information about the website, I'll have a few videos linked down below 
below for you. I don't want to get too much into the information about each of the websites just because then we'll be here forever, but essentially they are an overstock website and they are very, very affordable. I believe this box in particular was $89.20. Each piece is $4.45 and like I said, everything should be new with tags. I have purchased their commence mystery boxes before. This one is a little bit different, which I'm very, very curious about. This is by Cider. Cider I have seen online so many different times when just scrolling Instagram, and I've always been curious about that brand. They seem very comparable to Commence. If you have watched my previous hauls, a lot of their sold on Poshmark range from $10 to $40, but if you're only paying $4.50, let's say, per item, you're still doubling your money at that point or tripling, quadrupling, and I consider that a score. Oh, and also this mystery box should be 20 pieces as well. Now on the bottom, I believe this one is from Boutique by the Box. This is a brand that I've actually never had any experience with, so if you've had experience with this brand, please let me know. But this is by Sir Oh Yeah. I'm so saying that wrong. You guys are going to school me in the comments. And this is a Revolve designer and the sister brand to Retrofet. Now comps on this particular brand on Poshmark were all over the place. I saw some sold for $30 for $250. So I feel like this is going to be more of a gamble. Now I paid $500 for this box of 420 pieces, which means that my cost of goods was $25 per piece. Also, if you're looking for more discounts, I believe I have a $10 off code from Bazaar and I think a five or 10% code off from Boutique by the Box, which I will leave all my discount information down below. Thank you so much if you do decide to use those codes and which one should we do first? I kind of want to do cider. I'm really curious. Both brands I've never had any experience with. So this is all new to me. It's like Christmas. Okay, wait. I think this may be the cider one and that may be the other one. I don't know. We're just going to open up one of these boxes and whatever it is, that's what we're starting with. We're going to start with this one. As I am struggling to open this box, if you do like unboxings from me, please don't forget. It would mean the world to me if you give this video a thumbs up. It does help out my channel, so I really, really appreciate it. And yeah, I think this is the cider one. Here is what the first box looks like. It looks like everything is in this plastic. Right off the bat, it's a little different than the commence unboxings that I have done for you guys. If you remember any of those unboxings, it came with their wholesale packaging. Everything was wrapped up in their own poly mailer. And these are just kind of in a big bag, but everything is, should be at least, new with tags. And I do see the first one. This is what that first tag looks like. Let's see, what do we got here? I'm so confused already. Oh, okay. This is a little crop top. It looks like it does have a like cutout section. I'm doing an absolute horrible job showing this to you guys. You may have to use a little imagination. It does give the fabric contents on the tag, which is nice. It doesn't give any style number. So unfortunately, I don't think I'd be able to look it up online with of course the number, but I think I would use Google Lens if I was looking for a stock photo or I may end up modeling this out myself. I haven't decided yet. Also, if you aren't familiar with cider, which I barely am myself, I have noticed that they do sell a lot of trendy pieces very much like the brand Commence. This cider piece is in size medium and this looks like it is a little plaid dress which is actually really really stinking cute it does look a little short not gonna lie but still very cute it has these cap sleeves with lace trimming and a black plaid design this would be really cute with a pair of leggings very versatile because you can wear this in the spring and summer and again it is new with tags. If you guys think I'm like talking way too fast or flying by, I'm just really afraid this video is gonna be super, super long. 
since there are 40 pieces. So bear with me. This is the next one. Again, a very summery piece. I am actually excited to get some spring and summer pieces because I feel like January people are really looking for transitional items. They're starting to book vacations for spring or summer. And I'm just kind of also personally over all of the winter wear. This is in a size medium as well. Speaking of summer items, this brings me to my second core feature on Vendu that I use for every new season that is upcoming, which is my labels feature on my Vendu inventory management system. I absolutely love this feature because it keeps my inventory organized. It's basically like a virtual sticky note where you're able to put any label on whatever inventory you have. I am able to make more sales with this feature because I'm able to filter out my inventory, see all of those items that maybe didn't sell last spring or last summer, and really focus on either revamping them or relisting them. Which then, of course, brings me to my third core feature that I use on Vendu, and that is the relist and delist feature. Using Vendu's relist and delist feature essentially means I am pulling an item that may be stale or not sold from last season, and I am then relisting it on that platform to boost its visibility in the new section or the just in section. And the best part is I'm able to do this in bulk. So those two features together are just a game changer, especially when moving on to the next season. Anyways, speaking of spring and summer, this is a spring and summer piece, but it is velvet. So it could be pretty versatile. Perfect, honestly, for Valentine's Day. This is a pink velvet blazer, hot pink, very Barbie core. I don't know if Barbie core is still in, but that's what it reminds me of. And this is in an extra large. So, so far I am really liking the variety in sizes and let's hope it continues. Next up, we have a pair of jeans. Ooh, these are really cute. I love the uh, waistband, just a little extra comfiness. And these are a pair of straight leg, or I guess this would be wide leg jeans. What size are you? Not that I need anything, this always happens. Oh my gosh, this is in a size small. <sighs> I will be trying this one on. I mean, I cannot resist a pair of jeans that are also elastic waist. I mean, does it get any better than that? Speaking of pants, we have more here. This is so cute. It has like little lemons on them. This is like a perfect beach cover-up pant and definitely reminds me of the Amalfi Coast with the little lemons on them. This is in size 3XL, which that is really, really exciting. I always love to have a variety in my closet. And so far we're doing good. We have some smalls, we have some mediums. I think we had some extra larges and now a 3X. I love how every time I pull out a piece, it's just like completely different than uh, the piece before. So this looks like it is a mesh off the shoulder top. It also has ruching on the sleeves. It kind of looks like nothing when I show it to you, but I'm sure it is very, very pretty. And this is in an XL. Moving on, I think we have another dress here. This is a square neck mesh, but lined midi dress. It has a slit, it is in this deeper green color and it has these super cute florals on it. Again, perfect transitional piece because I feel like it's darker for this time of year, but then also it is a dress for spring and summer. And this is in a 2XL. Okay, another pair of pants here in a brown combination. These are ribbed and more of like a sweat pant, but it is a straight leg as well. Again, very, very trendy vibes. And this is in an XL. I will say, I don't know if I feel a tag to this one, unless I'm just missing it. This one seems to be new without tags, so just something to note if you do end up getting a box like this. By the way, I don't remember because I'm talking so fast. This is a mystery box, so I didn't know what I was going to get within this box. We have a little tiny crop top. This is in a size small, and it is undone, but it looks like it would be a v-neck with some button detail. We have another uh, I think crop top, maybe I'm confused. The trendier pieces get, the more confused I am about what they're supposed to be. I think 
<laughs> this is how it's supposed to go. Maybe off the shoulder with this like crisscross back situation. Uh, it looks like a crop top and this is in a size small. I will say so far as I am hauling this box for you that I think I do like the commence boxes a little bit better. I really did like the fact that each item was packaged individually and I do feel like I'm getting a lot of t-shirts and tank tops and of course those don't sell for as much money. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know about the brand cider. Like I said, it could perform better, but just comparing the two, if you have watched my commence hauls, then I'm curious if you agree with me, if you like the commence box a little bit better. Let me know in the comments if you have watched my commence hauls. But anyways, this is in an extra large. This again is another little top. I think this is a bandeau situation <laughs> and it has some ribbed material to uh, hold up the chest situation. We have a dress. Again, ribbed black, little chic dress. This seems like it is a maxi length and this is in a 2XL. We have another XL little crop top here. This is very, very soft and it is just a cropped t-shirt perfect for just a lounging around. We have another long sleeve here. This one has a really interesting pattern to it. This is in a size small and very, very stretchy. And then we have, is this a skirt? I think this may go with the uh, t-shirt that I just showed you. This may be a set. This is in a size large and it's just a mini skirt giving me very tennis prep vibes. We have an extra small mock neck ribbed long sleeve here and this is in a cream combination. Again, very, very soft material. We also have this kind of uh, interesting little dress here with these pearl bead strap and this satin like finish and I just realized it is a jumpsuit. This honestly would be a really cute Valentine's Day look too. This is in an extra small. Hopefully I'm doing it justice. <laughs> Couple more pieces left. We have a mock neck crop top here. This is in an extra large. We also have this kind of crazy print. This is a mini dress, I think. It's really, really short, but I'm thinking that it does stretch. It does have a square neckline and this really interesting pattern with ruffle detail. This is in a size large. We also have what looks like another t-shirt in an extra large. This has a knot detail to it. Again, perfect for spring and summer. And speaking about spring and summer, we have this midi dress. A lot of these pieces are giving me Y2K vibes, which is perfect because I know that is still in. And I call this a mini dress, but it is a skirt, my bad. And this is in a size extra large. And that is officially everything. Now again, if you haven't seen any of my commence hauls, then let me just say that every time I open up a mystery box, I end up getting two or three more pieces than I've actually purchased. So we are gonna count to make sure that there are 20 pieces. Two, 18, 19, 21, and 22. So again, I got more pieces than I paid for. I wonder why they do that. Which means, let's see what my actual cost of goods is. Brings each cost of goods down to $4.05, which we'll just round and say $4 per piece. So definitely let me know your thoughts. Do you think this was worth it? Do you think Cider was better than Commence? If you have seen my previous hauls, I am really curious. Okay, and moving on to the next box. This is much, much heavier. Like I said, this is by Boutique by the Box. If you are a follower of this channel, then you know I've done a lot of Boutique by the Box unboxings. And if you want more information about the website, like I said, I'll leave a couple of hauls linked down below. But I have never purchased or bought from this brand before. I'm definitely expecting higher quality because of course I paid $25 per piece and I think a lot of their dresses are retailed for over $200. So 
definitely keep that in mind because I'm going to be listing so many pieces here. It is going to be a game changer to look at Vendu's analytics, which brings me to my fourth core feature as to how Vendu helps me make more sales. After, of course, listing these items and seeing how each of these boxes perform, I am able to go onto Vendu's analytics and track my sales, track my top selling categories, track my brands, so that way I know what I'm supposed to be picking up for next season or what I'm going to be passing on for now on, so I know to source smarter. All right, now let's get into the box. We have a little card here and first up we have these pair of jeans. These are the Demi Mid Rise Jean. These are in a size 25 and they look like this. They are just your classic light wash pair of jeans. They um, also are a little bit of a wide leg, I would say. I know a lot of you have said that size 25 or 24 are just too small of sizes for you to want to pick up within your closets. But what I will say is I have actually sold out of all of my redone jeans that were smaller sizes. And I'm not saying I'm condoning picking up smaller sizes, but that did happen to me. So I am hoping that I am still going to be able to sell these. We shall see. Okay, let's get the other pair of jeans over with. This is in a size 26, so a little bit better. And these are the same type of jeans. So that will make it easy when I am looking up style names. We also have, ooh, this is really cute. This is a red mini dress, which I just realized, I didn't show you guys the tag, my bad. This is what the tag looks like and it does come new with this fabric tag. It also does have the description, which is going to be really nice when looking up the name on Google. This is in an extra large. This is the Melic Kai dress. Sure, I'm saying that wrong, but I know I keep saying Valentine's Day. I always feel like I'm headed towards the next holiday, but what can I say? Valentine's is on the mind, and this would be a perfect dress for that, so hopefully that gets sold before then. Okay, I see a sweater, which is kind of exciting, although I do realize we are going into spring and summer. Wow, okay. <laughs> I thought it was a sweater, but this is like a dress sweater situation. Again, very, very trendy. It has this intentional distressing and it has shoulder pads as well. It has a little bit of a balloon sleeve. It has a lot going on for it, not gonna lie. It's giving me very sporty vibes. I don't see the tag for this one, so this may be new without tag. Um, I also don't see any label. Am I crazy? Okay, I don't see any label. I do think that the description on this particular box was new with tag and new without tag, but I can't even find the label for it. So I will uh, have to look into that a little bit later. Just a heads up if you do end up getting a box like this. Up next, we have this baby pink little stretchy dress. It is ribbed and I do see one tiny mark on it. I don't know if the camera is going to be able to pick it up. It just looks like it's a dirt mark, honestly. So not too bad, but I do want to disclose any flaws that I see. This is in a size medium. More hot pink, of course, for Valentine's Day. This is in a size extra small, small, and this is a lacy, it looks like cover up a situation. I could definitely see someone wearing this to a resort. Very, very pretty. It has silver hardware button down. And honestly, I'm just really curious how much all of these pieces retail for because I have absolutely no idea. This one is new without tags, but I don't see any flaws on it. Another dress. This is in a size medium. It has a little cutout in the front and again, a pink color. And it is in this very soft, stretchy fabric. We have more satiny silk. This is in a size medium. And actually what's really interesting is it does say the brand name, but then it also says the sister company on the back. So that is just kind of interesting and something to note. I believe this is a wrap dress. It is belted. 
and I think it is a maxi length in this cobalt blue color. Very, very pretty. And if I didn't say it, in a size medium. More dresses, which I'm actually really happy with because I had a feeling a lot of these would be dresses. That's kind of where I saw all of the high-end comps from. So I'm definitely happy that they are dresses. This is in an extra small. This is a collared little v-neck dress. Again, in a very neutral pink. It's giving quiet luxury for sure. So I am excited about that. I do see a pattern here. I'm not super fond of selling prints that are animal print, but I just think it's a little bit more dated. I don't see animal print as much anymore. I could be completely wrong too, who knows. But this is a mini dress again. Very, very silky, satiny, and if you're curious on fabric with these, it does say that it is 95% silk and 5% spandex, so all of the other satiny, silky dresses, I have a feeling, are probably similar, so that's good to know that it is a more of a high-end fabric. We have something denim here, which I do see some marks on and something to note. I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it, but again, I just see very, very tiny like dirt marks. I'm not even surprised since it is white, but I want to disclose everything that I see. This is in an extra large and it has intentional distressing on it. Does come new with tag and this is the Marcus shirt in an extra large. More white more confusing <laughs> uh okay so i don't think i'm gonna be able to show you this completely because i don't have four hands to uh show you things but this is like a micro cardigan but it also has a layer that is like the halter portion and i don't even know if i'm showing it the correct way but it's supposed to look something like this and um, yeah, I, I'm this is just a fail one because I I can't really show it to you, but it's in an extra small. Okay, we have more white. Ooh, she heavy. What is this? This is in a size large. This is the Virginia cardigan. And I'm getting a phone call. Hold on. Hello? Hey beautiful. Hey. And he kind of got silent and he goes. Yeah, I had your car confused with somebody else's car. So is it yeah. so is it ready today then? No, it's yeah, it's ready. Uh, and he's like, yeah, we're we on some other part. I was like, okay. Okay. Bye. Love you. Bye. Love you. I get my car back today. Thumbs up for that. Woo woo. Also, just as a side note, we are driving to California tomorrow um, and we really didn't want to use the rental car that we ended up picking up yesterday because we thought my car would be in the shop for a couple more days and now they just told us that they confused our car with another car and my car is ready. So Tristan will be picking that up with me later on today and I'm very excited to have my car after three weeks of not having it. Oh my goodness. Anyways, where were we? This is a very long cardigan and it is quite heavy. It is interesting because it has like a slit. Hold on, let me see if I can show you. Hello! It has a uh, slit in the back too and a little belt situation. This is in a size large and that's probably why this box was so heavy was just because of this piece. We also have this vibrant green situation. This is in a size small. This is the Camilla Knit Cardigan. I just really, really love that all of these pieces have their style names to them because of course I'm gonna put that in the title of all of my listings and it's just gonna help me when making all of these listings if I decide that I don't want to model out every single piece, especially because now I have 40 pieces to list. It's a little overwhelming, but this is just a belted knit cardigan. We have a extra small. This one actually doesn't have the style name as I'm talking about how awesome that is, but these are a pair of ribbed pants. It looks like they are a wide leg, which is really nice, and they definitely do stretch. We have more green. I know this color was super popular last year. I'm hoping it's the same since now I have pieces for it. This is in size medium and it's one of those like trendy cutout pant situations. And I think I have the matching top. I see something else green here. 
yes this is the matching blouse to it so it is a set we love a set again in a size medium more white we have size medium midi dress midi skirt i think this is like a ruched midi skirt very very pretty this is a tiny little thing uh <laughs> confused size small uh i think oh okay I think this is how it's supposed to be. Cut out long sleeve black, low back situation. This for $25 per piece kind of makes me nervous just because it is just a top, but I'm hoping that all of those bigger category pieces that we have, like the cardigans and the dresses will make up for maybe me getting my money back for some of these small pieces. This is in a size small, and this is just another cropped, cut out long sleeve top and that is officially everything let's just double check and count all of these pieces too you never know maybe i end up getting an extra wishful thinking let's see one two 12 18 exactly 20 okay so we have exactly 20 which means they were 25 dollars per piece and that is officially everything only slightly overwhelmed to get all these listings processed but i know vendu is going to come in clutch to help me out make more sales with these pieces don't forget if you are interested in vendu to use my link down below and then use the code more 24 am at checkout so you can get 40 percent off your first month subscription description. Also, please in the comments, this is a battle of the box. Let me know which you hypothesize will perform better on Poshmark and eBay. I am very, very curious. I am honestly going into this completely blindly. Now, of course, in general, I probably will make more money with this box because it is more of a high-end box, but I am curious which one's going to take faster than the other one because it seems like all of my more affordable pieces do sell faster. I'm just very curious of your thoughts. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this probably very long video. I hope you had fun spending time with me. I'm excited to film more for you this year. Happy 2024 again, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.